And whilst I'm on about a full cycle, I may as well address something that has been bugging me because there's a few people on the internet saying that it's impossible to achieve a full cycle in a canister filter because of the high flow. That is nonsense. If you're using ceramic rings, yes, it is impossible in a high flow, highly oxygenated environment because they're simply not porous enough, the water just flies straight through them. The wall of the ceramic ring is very thin, they're not, they basically can't support the anaerobic bacteria unless you use them in a very slow flow. For example, in a nitrate reactor where the water is moving so slowly that the water is totally deoxygenated and really in that environment you could use plastic balls, any sort of plastic media, ceramic rings, if it's in a <laughs> if it's in a deoxygenated environment, really the only sort of bacteria that are going to do well in it are the anaerobic bacteria. With the biohome, it's got so many tunnels and it's so accessible for the water that you get little pockets of anaerobic bacteria even in a high flow. The ability to support anaerobic bacteria is down to the media, not really the flow, as I've just explained there. Obviously low flow, very low flow, deoxygenated environment, yes, any media will support anaerobic bacteria. And really the structure of biohome can kind of be likened to a big house. You've got all the windows shut, winds whistling past, you open two small windows on one side of the house. The wind can still get in the house, but it slows right down by the time it reaches the end of the first room. If you step back, say you've got a candle lit, the candle is hardly going to move, there's going to be no wind there. If you step further and further back into the house or go into a different room up the stairs, you're never going to feel that wind. That's the equivalent of the water flying past the media, saying, hey, up there's a hole, going into the hole and then thinking, oh, I've got nowhere to go, I'll slow right down. You know, further down, that tunnel, it's pretty much all anaerobic activity. I'm not sure if I've made that very clear with that uh, house analogy there, but basically it doesn't really matter how fast the water is moving past the entrance. Actually, I'll give you another one, a cave. If you've ever been into a cave or into an old mine, you could have a raging hurricane outside at the entrance of that cave or that tunnel or that mine or whatever you're still going to feel the wind. You step back further into that long tunnel and you're going to get less and less and less and less wind. That's basically like the water flying over the outlet of one of those tunnels in the bio home. It's going to find the easiest route. It's not going to go into the tunnel, turn around and then come back out again. It's going to move through there exceptionally slowly. That's all the bio home does. It slows the flow down in the media. That's what makes it special. So if anybody tells you that you can't achieve a full cycle, i.e. you can't support anaerobic bacteria in a canister filter or a shower filter, anything where the water is highly oxygenated and moving pretty fast, you can tell them that they are talking bollocks. All you need is enough suitable media to make that full cycle happen to provide all of that surface area, both external and internal, for aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. It's basically just replicating nature. It's a really simple process, um, <laughs> which is why I, it really it's a head scratcher how some people cannot get their heads around that simple concept. It's, it's really simple, you know. I still get messages from people and I see comments saying, oh, I put Biohome Ultimate in my FX6 or my Fluval, whatever, in my Malawi tank, 500 litre tank, I bought a kilo and it did absolutely nothing. Well, as far as the nitrate reduction goes, it is going to do absolutely nothing if you haven't got enough of it. It's as simple as that. I mean, even going to a chemical sort of analogy, if you've got a problem with your fish and say you've got white spot or something, and your tank requires you to add 20 drops per day and you add three, your fish are not going to get any better, you know? You've 
got to use the right amount of everything. Imagine if you were traveling a thousand miles in a car, but gas tank was gonna hold a thousand miles worth of fuel, and you put five dollars worth of fuel in it. You're not gonna get far, you <laughs> know? I'm rambling now, see you next time.